Hey everybody, it's Miss Stephanie again uh, with a, another Joy Ensemble lesson. So first let's start with our jumping around warm up. We're gonna start off on the G string. Violins, remember the G is right up top here. For the bass, it's gonna be at the very bottom. And for cellos, it's gonna be the second from the top. So we're gonna do long open G long open D, long G, D1, long G, D2, long G, D3, long D, open A, long D, first finger, D, second finger, one D, third finger, open D again, A2, open D, A1, one D, open A, now we're going to go back to D3, Open G, D2, go to open G, D1, open G, open D, very nice. So remember we're going to do that for our warm up every time we sit down and either practice along with me or you're practicing by yourself. So now that we've gotten our warm up out of the way, let's start with um, number 36, Diane New. We're gonna play through that very quickly, um, just as a refresher. So again, Diane New, number 36 on page 12. Ready? One, two, three, four. And let's go through Ellie's dance as well. Everybody ready? One, two, three, four. If you still don't feel comfortable, I suggest that you go back to last week's video. We focused a lot on both um, Diane New number 36 on page 12 and Ellie's Dance number 39 on page 13. So as another part of um, our daily warm-ups and our music, which is also called our repertoire, we want to include some exercises. So one exercise that I do want us to do is um, jumping around, but with our fingers. Being able to go from open D to D2 to first finger to D3 is definitely something that you want to practice because all of our music the notes won't come one right after the other, just like we do in a scale. So let's practice this. Let's do one long open D string. Stop, and let's jump to D2. Stop, jump to D1. Stop, jump into D3. Excellent, stop, jump into D2. Stop, jump into open A. Stop, D3. Stop, A1. 
Stop, A open. Stop, A2. Stop, A1. Stop, A3. Stop. So now let's go backwards. Let's do A3. Stop, A1. Stop, A2. Stop, A open. Stop, A1. Stop, D3. Stop, A open. Stop, D2. Stop, D3. Stop, D1. Stop, D2. D open. Excellent. So it's very similar to a D major scale, but somewhat deconstructed. So feel free to speed it up and then it would sound kind of like this. Perfect. So again, practice it slow first, doing one long bow for a note, stopping at the tip, going back up with another, stopping at the frog, going back down to another, stopping at the tip, and going back all the way to the frog and stopping. So today's focus can be found on page 13, number 41, called Cripple Creek. So the first few measures, we start off with A3, A3, open A, D2, D3, A1, A, rest. Then starting with measure three, we have the same thing. A3, A3, open A, D2, D1, open D, Open D, rest. Now we go to the second line. We have D2, D2, D1, D, D2, open A, open A, rest. D2, D2, D1, D open, A, a1, A3, rest. Awesome. So let's start with the first line. The first line only with our D on the A string. Ready? One, two, three, four. D. Let's try that one more time. One, two, three, four. D, D, A, F sharp, G, B, A, rest. D, D, A, F sharp, E, D, D, rest. Very nice. Now let's go to the second line, starting with F sharp. One, two, three, four. F sharp, F sharp, E, D, F sharp, A, A, rest. F sharp, F sharp. Rest. 
awesome. So for this piece in particular, let's practice doing a bow lift. So a bow lift is, like it sounds, we're lifting the bow. Just like that. So after we play that open A measure two, let's do a bow lift. So we would have G, B, A, bow lift. And then a three, a three, a, a, a B, B, bow lift. Alrighty, so we've reached everyone's favorite part of the lesson, the scales. So let's start off with our G major scale. And I think by now we've got a pretty good hang of our G major scale. And let's do the one, two, cha-cha-cha. So it sounds like. Everybody ready? One, two, three, four. Now let's do a D major scale and let's try to play even louder than our G major scale was with the uh, pepperoni pizza rhythm. So remember, pepperoni pizza. Everyone ready? Pepperoni pizza. So guys, we've got our warm-up, our music to practice this week, and an awesome exercise that I really encourage each and one of you to participate in because it's just going to make you a stronger player as we start working more and more through this book. It is a lot of one, jumping strings, but also jumping notes and using different fingers at different points of time within the music as well. Again, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. My email is located in the description box underneath the video. Um, but if nothing else, I will see you guys next week for another video. Have a great week, guys.